fourth game, I we, we really knew who St. Thomas was coming in here. They, they're a program that really um, they, they take a lot of pride in their men's basketball program. Well coached. Um, they have a game plan. They stick to it. Their, their thought today was to come in and try to outshoot us from the three-point line. Um, our execution defensively in the first half um, probably was lacking just a little bit. We, we missed some defensive assignments. I thought we adjusted uh, much better in the second half. Um, and then I thought the, the other thing was that we just missed some good, really good looks in the first half. That first half score could have easily been um, a little bit different. You know, we kind of made that run. They, they, they make the run at the end of the half to take the lead. But uh, throughout the first half, I thought we had a lot of good looks and just didn't fall. you got to give credit to the defense. The guys did a, a really good job of locking down and not giving them seven shot opportunities. Um, and then it, credit to these two guys. They made some big shots for us uh, uh, late in, in, in the ball game that were real difference makers. Um, it felt really good just because I mean I've been putting in a lot of hard work and it's finally nice to see it uh, pay off. So I mean just first career start I knew that we were man down so we all just say next man up so I was ready to go and I just I just started feeling in the second half and my shots started falling and then the last one was kind of a heat check and. Thankfully, I hit it, but it, it, it felt good at the beginning of the time. You know, when you're on the floor for a lot, that's something I'm going to turn around. Mm-hmm. You're talking about kind of what your role is on the team. Okay? You're in that second half. What are you trying to do out there with guys? Yeah, I would say, you know, specifically the second half, my role would be to go out there and just hit shots, um, especially late in the game, which 3 for 10 from 3 isn't ideal at all, and i, I got to be better. But, um, you know, hit it when it counts, and I think Peyton did a very good job of that too. So just energy on the offensive end and defensive end as well um, on my part that I have to do better at. So. Coach, with those two uh, bringing outside shooting presence, what does that do to your offense? Oh, it, it just it, it means the world. I mean, this day and age in college basketball, teams that can make threes night in and night out are going to have a chance to be very, very good. But what it does for us in particular, it opens up our inside a little bit. Um, we, we've got to be a little bit better and a little more consistent on that inside. But when you're hitting threes, now you have isolation. Tonight was one of those nights that every time it went in the post, they came early with a hard double team. I thought our post guys did an excellent job of handling the ball, finding the open man. And, and that's where these two guys uh, came into play, both in terms of knocking down shots, but also in terms of finding the open man and making the extra pass. Well, we're going to try to take the next couple of days and, and get rested and kind of get back in a routine where we can just clean up some things. We need to get healthy. We need to get all our bodies back. It'd be nice to have uh, Jordan and Miles back in the fold and get those guys back on the court. So that, that's going to be a big, big part of, uh, of what we do uh, throughout the week is just trying to integrate those guys and get